it's about one in the afternoon on May 15th and uh, the winds are definitely backing but it's very light we're still just kind of poking along here but they are supposed to come uh, west west to southwest we have these very placid conditions right now so as per usual I took advantage and uh, had more of the chicken and vegetables for lunch and uh, even more as I took a bath and uh, it's been at least three days since I've had a bath and uh, there, there's nothing more that I find that just I mean it, it's just a psychological reset than giving yourself a bath because after a while you just don't realize how grubby it, you uh, and uh, you get grubby and, and I find it really affects my mood um, when uh, when, when you wash yourself off and take a bath, it's, as I say, it's, it's like it's like you're just rebooting yourself. But anyway, that's all to say that uh, the weather maps this morning are still showing uh, these winds building out of the west-southwest. And uh, by tomorrow, they're going to be up to about 20 to 30 knots. So we're going to have a lot of wind. And by tomorrow evening, might even get up near gale force, 20, uh, 25 to 35. It's always hard to believe when when you're just sitting out here in the ocean. It's, it's so peaceful and calm that in uh, in less than 24 hours you're going to be contending with uh, with uh, moaning winds and big waves and all that. But uh, these weather models are pretty accurate these days. So unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that is what's going to happen. So anyway, I also just uh, straightened up around the boat a bit, even played my guitar a bit this morning. It's always good to feel refreshed before you're going into battle. And uh, as I say, one of my rules of ocean passaging, when at all possible, when, whenever you get calm, calm spells, is, is uh, especially between uh, between uh, uh, stretches of rough weather, is o always capitalize on the calms uh, to uh, to get get yourself a, a good a good hot meal and um, take a bath and straighten up and just uh, you know, just kind of give yourself that full reset there. So you're ready to go back in the arena and do battle with the lions. Look at all these dolphins. There's easily two dozen of them. See them from here all the way. Wonder if they'll come over and say hi. Ah, here we go. Could make a little more speed with that code zero, but uh, I'm gonna take it in because the winds are forecast to, uh, they're picking up and they're forecast to pick up further. I don't wanna leave it rolled up with strong winds coming. And, uh, and I don't wanna have to go out on that bowsprit at 0200 to unclip it. So, So I'm going to drop it and bag it now and uh, just raise the staysail, which will still give us quite a bit of warmth. Okay, it should, uh, even with this wind, the staysail should get us back up to five knots.
Tuesday, the 16th of May, 2023, and we are about 60 miles south of Montauk Point, New York. Um, as forecast, it breezed up. Uh, I breezed up last night, and uh, I've got her triple reef main reef staysail and uh, it's supposed to uh, it's supposed to pick up uh, even more this afternoon get up 25 to 30 knots um, right now it's died down to about 15 knots or so so we're a little under canvas um, and uh, and I just know the minute I, I start shaking reefs out that wind's gonna start uh, gonna start really piping back up so I'm just gonna wait uh, just wait a while and see what happens here uh, beautiful sunny day it's still chilly though uh, because this water temperature is I just heard it on the VHF it's 57 degrees Fahrenheit which is chilly water strong winds finally showed up yeah, we got a good uh, good 25 knots now and, uh, got about uh, 30 miles to go to a little less than that about 20 27 miles to go to Montauk point hopefully once we get inside Long Island Sound get inside the sound there these winds will ease up time is at 4 15 in the morning 17th of May and we're making our way toward Ped and Aram and uh, just got the wind shift on the other side of the front so I was just up on the foredeck putting the reef back in the stay so I might have to put the second reef back in the main because these winds are uh, supposed to get 15 20 knots behind the front so we'll see if we can just hang on to one reef in the main the reef stays so uh, don't you just love doing four deck work at 0400 well now it's about 0500 and it's time to put a second reef in the main as the wind has continued to build. The reef is tied in, pull that peak halyard up. Make your way back to the cockpit without falling over. Well, he's definitely pointing closer to the wind with his diesel going. Although the ride doesn't look any smoother than it is for us. Well, wax on, wax off. This wind has kind of eased a little, so I think I'm going to shake the second reef out of the main. See if we can just get a little more forward drive. Because this hobby horse, see the way she's 
hobby horse thing like this is really slowing her down. Well, I've decided against trying to make for Payton Aram as it's dead upwind into about 20 to 25 knots. So I'm going to keep her on Port Tack and sail into Vineyard Sound and try to make Tarplin Cove, which offers good protection in the northerly. Consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. As a patron, you will be able to view my videos free of ads. You will also be able to leave comments, ask questions, and message me directly. You can become a patron for as little as $5 a month.